The Magpul Bipod. Let's check it out. One thing to me about Magpul is they always seem to come out with cool designs, but yet it's a really solid product. Whether it's their stocks, their P-Mags, you know, their D60 drums, uh, whatever they do, they seem to do it well. Uh, it's one of the things though, when the bipod came out, I really was looking forward to getting a hold of one. I knew that it would be good quality. Whether it fit what I wanted, that, was, that remained to be seen. But as far as the Magpul design, I knew it would be nice. And this is, it's an excellent bipod. Uh, and we're going to look at all the different features. It does extend, it does tilt, it rotates. I mean, it just does what typically Magpul does. They just try to do it right. Now I have the bipod mounted on an F4 Defense 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, we're going to be doing some testing later on with this and doing a review on it. Uh, but it just made a good platform for this bipod. It's really easy to deploy. I mean, the, the controls on this bipod are really simple. Now I'm going to take this off, but first I want to show you just mounted on the rifle. Uh, it just pops down uh, without any kind of tools, and then it locks into place. Right here is a little button, steel button. Just bring it up. It's really intuitive. Uh, everything just works uh, very easily. Now right here is your button to extend. As you can see, it just pulls it right out, and it locks into place. There's a number of different positions. And then you have rubberized feet on the bottom. Uh, so, and then we have a knob right here, and this is probably one of my favorite parts. It's a steel knob. It's really heavy, made for gloved hands or whatever. I mean, it's easy to get a hold of. And you can take and loosen that up. You have tilt and you have cant. And then you can tighten that down, and uh, it's just really excellent. Now, this is the Picatinny rail version. It does come in an M-lock. It comes in an arms mount. And I believe there's some others that are coming, and it comes in the black and the FDE. Now when it comes to the Picatinny rail, I love that you can use a screwdriver or it has a place to be able to put an Allen wrench. And so it makes it really easy to be able to take off. Here you can see the mount right here it just has a plate, it locks in, but again this is just this certain attachment point. Now here you see the knob, you can actually open this up and it'll turn this all the way around. So you can kind of fit this however you want to on your rifle. Uh, so it, it makes it really versatile. It's very sturdy. You can feel how sturdy it is here. And it locks down solid. And when it's loose, you can see the cant, and uh, you can see it rotate. It has a 50% tilt and a 40% pan. So it gives you a very wide range. Um, and again, we've shown where the hub is reversible. You can turn this thing all the way around. Uh, of course, I usually face my legs toward the outward, toward the barrel. Now the legs of the bipod right here, you just extend it out. Uh, you can see that there are notches on the inside here. It's seven different positions, including fully closed, all the way out to fully extended. And it is half inch increments. So you have quite a bit of variation to be able to get that right spot. And just bring them up, just push and pull up. I mean, the, again, guys, it's just so intuitive. Here are the rubber feet. Uh, they do have pins that run through. You can put Atlas compatible uh, mounts right here so there's a lot of different choices if you don't like the rubber but I found that these really hold up well on the bench and on the ground. Here's a little closer look at the knob. It's just solid. The knurling is very tight and uh, you know it's the aluminum legs here and uh, they're 6061 T6. Uh, they're steel components in different places just to give it that added strength and it just locks down again very simply. It's 2.3 inches in height. It's three and a half inches width. Uh, the legs extend from 6.3 inches all the way out to 10.3. So you have a four inch variable all the way extended. Two all the way collapsed. And it weighs 11.8 ounces. Now one thing I do want to show you, when these legs are extended, 
uh, is that there is a little bit of play right here. Now you can see everything else, especially once you lock down this knob, is super tight. Uh, there is a bolt right here. I did try to tighten that up to see if I could get a little bit of that out, but it didn't really make any difference. Uh, but from what I understand is Magpul did this by, on purpose. I mean, this was by design. And it gives you a little bit of, of adjustment when you hit the ground. Um, and it doesn't cause a lot of noise. Up here, it just has this little bit of variation right here. Now, when you extend it out, it really doesn't change the amount of play. Maybe a little bit. But, um, you know, we shot it collapsed, we shot it all the way out, especially in the prone position, and it just really held up well. And I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. We're shooting just some 55 grain um, full metal jacket, and we're using some SureFeed mags. They run $104.45 on the Brownells website. Of course, I can't have a link down below in the description, but you can just go to Brownells. So guys, if you're looking for a capable bipod that won't break the bank, something of real high quality, the Magpul bipod to me is excellent. It's very versatile. Uh, it's not an Atlas, but it's not three times the price. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's just a great little option to me for you know the things that I need. And I want to thank Brown Nails again for sending the bipod for this test and evaluation. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. dollars and I okay. definitely Magpul quality and I don't know what the, it's very solid very intuitive and again it does have a, okay. trying to do some kind of bullshit here. let's check it out 